Hi and welcome. In this video, I will show you how a trading bot can optimize its own parameters without our intervention. In previous videos, we developed a simple strategy that we backtested and then we deployed it live in a trading bot running on the cloud. The strategy was tested using a paper account or a practice demo account for a couple of months. And the issue we faced at that moment was that the parameters we were using for our trading had to be updated at least every week to keep the trading bot optimized on the most recent data. So I was doing this manually every Monday morning, I log into my cloud account and I apply a fitting code that would find the best set of parameters for trading using the last two weeks of data. Then I would insert these parameters in the trading bot and launch it again with the updates. This process can be automated and this was requested by many of you in the comments section. In this video, we will go through the Python code where we show the trading bot components and I will detail the part where the automated fitting or optimization was included. The Python code I will be using in this video is available for download from the link in the description. So you can download it, run the code and experiment on the different parameters if needed. I will also leave links for previous videos where the strategy was detailed and backtested in case you have missed that part. Also in these linked videos, the Python codes are available for download as well. Now, before we jump into the coding part, let's recap quickly the strategy and what we will be including in Python. The strategy uses a moving average for trend detection and Bollinger Bands for entry signals. The part that we are optimizing are just the trade management parameters. So the stop loss distance and the take profit distance, nothing related to the indicator itself. The optimization process will backtest the returns for different stop loss and take profit distances using the most recent price data. So for example, we aim to optimize or fit on a data of the last week, and then we trade for the current week and so on. And we will keep applying this process, optimizing on the previous data or the most recent data, the last couple of weeks, and then trading for a week or so. Then the next week, we're going to optimize on the current weeks, and then we're going to trade in the future and so on. You get the point. We optimize on the most recently available data, and then we start trading with the parameters or the updated parameters that we currently have. Usually the backtest results are displayed on a heat map and we pick the parameters yielding the maximum return values. So in this example, we pick the parameters yielding around 60% in returns. This is the maximum value or return value that we have on the heat map. We're not saying this is the best method to pick the stop loss and the take profit values, but at the moment, it's enough to allow us to run our example. This process of fitting and finding the updated heat map showing all the backtest results is the part that we will be automating. We can, for example, make a scheduler that will run this process and find the best stop loss and take profit distances and then update these parameters in the trading bot that's currently running our trades. Why do we do this? Again, to update and use parameters that were fitted on the most recent data. And this process will be scheduled to run regularly every week or even twice a week, for example, or any other frequency depending on the strategy we are using. Okay, now let's check the Python code and see how it works. This is our Python code. So for now, I'm not using a Jupyter Python notebook. Notice that this is a Python file because if we need to launch it on the cloud, it's uh, more convenient this way. So this is the same file, the exact same file I used to launch the strategy online on the cloud. So I'm importing the uh, libraries. I'll not go through the details. It's just pandas, technical analysis, and all what is needed from Oanda. Oanda is the uh, broker that we'll be using to execute our trades and also to query the prices from the market. You will need an access token and an account ID. And I'm defining a fixed lot size. More on this later on future videos. How do you define the best lot size? How do What's the best approach to define your lot size or the trade size? Then I'm defining my EMA signal. So that's the first component of the strategy. We're going to use the exponential moving average to check if we have an uptrend or a downtrend. So obviously we're trading in the same direction of the trend. Then we have a total signal using the first, the EMA signal, but also the Bollinger Band signal. The um, details of the strategy, the back tests and everything we've been using are available from previous videos and I will be leaving those links in the description. So if you are interested in the details of the strategy, the back tests, the um, data, how we queried the data and so on, check the description as these were detailed in the previous videos. And at this point, we have a function called get candles. It's going to use Oanda's platform to get 
the uh, last uh, n candles, let's say 10 candles, 20 candles, and so on, then we are going to use a function called count opened trades. This is going to uh, return the number of trades that are currently opened using my account. Then we have get candles as a data frame. It's going to get the open, close, high, low uh, prices of the candles. This is a certain format that I would like to have to uh, make the analysis easier. And then I'm going to add the ATR, the fast moving average, slow moving average, RSI, the Bollinger Bands, and then I'm going to compute the total signal and add it to the data frame using the total signal function, which is defined here. So this is my trading signal, long or short signals, entry points. At the end, this function, get candles frame, when it's called, it's going to download the current most recent, uh, let's say 70 or 50 candles, depending on how many candles we, uh, we put as an argument for the function. And it's going to compute these ATR, EMA, RSI, Bollinger Bands, and the total signal, concatenate these information, this information in the data frame, and it will return the whole set of data as a data frame. This is very good because I don't have to do much. I just call the function, it will download the data live from the market, the current data, the most recent candles, and it will compute the signal, the trading signal for us. So this is just a test, just using get candles to see if it's working and we're connected to the platform. At this point, I can define fitting job. This is a function that's going to fit and optimize the uh, stop loss ATR coefficient and the take profit ratio coefficient. Okay, so we have our strategy. We're using the backtesting uh, package. If you are not familiar with this package, please check my previous videos as we go thoroughly into the details, how we've used this, how we defined a class, my strategy inheriting from strategy class from the backtesting module or backtesting package. And then we define the size of the lot, the uh, initial values for the stop loss coefficient and the take profit stop loss ratio and so on. So at the end, this class is going to backtest my strategy using the signal in the data frame. And I'm going to use it on the most recent candles. I'm going to download candles and query candles using this previous function, get candles frame, for example. And we're going to run this on a new data frame stream, as you can see here. So that's a data frame, a pandas data frame containing the candles and the signals. And we're going to find the best take profit stop loss ratio parameters. Okay, and a stop loss coefficient parameter. So two values are going to be returned by this, uh, by this function using the optimization process. And now we can simply use a trading job function. So this is where the trading is done. I will query again the last 70 candles. We're going to compute the signal. And if the week day is equal to zero, so if it's a Monday and if it's before 7 a.m., and 7.05 actually, because now dot minute is less than five. So if it's Monday and it's before 7.05, we're going to run the fitting job. So Monday morning, we call this function fitting job that's going to compute and optimize those two parameters, the stop loss ATR coefficient and the take profit stop loss ratio. Only on Monday, we're going to update these for the rest of our trading week. And that's it basically. So. We just added a part where we fit and we scheduled this fitting on Monday morning. You can do it twice a week. You can change these conditions to uh, maybe optimize every day in the morning, 7.05 or at midnight, the time at which the market is open and so on. So it depends on the strategy you will be testing and you will be using live. And the rest of the code is what we've used in previous videos for this strategy. Uh, it's just using these two coefficients, these two parameters and getting on with the trading part. So if a signal is one, it's a, and we don't have any currently open trades, and the spread is less than a maximum spread because we need the spread to be very narrow below a threshold to be able to trade, we pass our short positions and so on. And also I've added this option where we're going to write for each trade the um, stop loss ATR coefficient and take profit stop loss ratio coefficients just to make sure that we're using the correct values. These were just for debugging purposes. You can comment these parts, but I prefer to keep them to observe the behavior and how things are being updated on uh, using my bot. Because I usually launch the bot on the cloud. I leave it for three to four weeks. I come back, so I need to know what was happening while I wasn't observing the trading. And at the end, I'm launching this trading job function, which uses also the fitting function. It's all 
in a cron scheduler from Monday to Friday uh, between 7 uh, to 6, for example. And these are the minutes. It's being scheduled to run every 5 minutes from 7 to 6 in the evening because this is a 5 minutes time frame that we're using. So I need to probe the market for every new candle. And this is it, basically. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. If you are curious about the details of the strategy, the back tests, and the previous videos that were developing this strategy in detail and this code, specifically this code, I will leave links for the previous videos. You might be interested in checking these out first. And this was it for today. I hope you guys liked it. Until our next one, trade safe and see you next time.